But also the biggest questions that I think some of the first time home buyers, in fact, I got a question this morning about that. And I think the, the general sense from people is that the market is possibly overinflated. And it's been quite of a big change. I mean, over the past few years, you've seen a, a very big dip in home prices. And obviously interest rates have been low, some would say artificially for the past few years. And that's starting to change. So you're seeing a big shift in home buyers and they're having to deal with uh, massive competition because you know inventory is so low and there's so many buyers out there. And relatively interest rates are still low, but they're starting to rise. So the general sense in people is, this can't continue. And I agree with that. I think that there is going to be a period of time where there might be a little bit of a bounce back. And some people are saying that it might be sooner rather than later. But the bottom line is, no matter what happens in the short term in the market, especially if there's a correction, uh, I don't see the fundamentals and the differences between what happened in 2007, 2008, coming back the same way they are now. Now it's just a matter of there has been such low inventory levels and there's been so much pent up demand and interest rates are so low that there's going to be a kind of a flashback point where people are saying, okay, you know, maybe now it's going to shift more to a buyer's market. So there'll be less competition, you know, there'll be higher interest rates. So the terms may change a little bit. And if there's a correction, it's going to maybe hinder people who are trying to do property short term. So maybe flippers, but overall five, seven, 10 years from now, people are going to be buying houses who are getting an in interest rate, let's say in the threes or fours, are gonna look back at the terms that they have and the payment that they have and compare that to what they'll be able to get when interest rates are percent or 2% higher, and they'll be very happy. And that's the bottom line. It's you're, you're understanding this moment in time and trying to figure that how that's gonna affect you in the long run. And it's still, even with the market today, it's an unbelievably amazing time to buy when you're considering how low interest rates are and what sort of terms you can get versus what they're gonna be like in a year, two years, three years.